YouTube, Chris from Timmy Innovation here, finally bringing you guys another video. First and foremost, I want to say sorry for not having my consistent videos like, like I wanted with the five videos a week. I just, honestly, I needed a break. I felt like I just, I just didn't want to sit in the house and edit videos all day. I do want to see sunlight, <laughs> but smile seriously though. It just having my personal life, you know, my kid and work and me wanting to actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! It kind of takes time out from the video from the channel, but that's no excuse. I just honestly been needing a break. Like last week, I bring you that four videos. This week, you're getting your four four videos again. The fourth video will probably be up. It's like 11:31 right now. It'll probably be up by 12 o'clock. And I know I'm scratching my nose. I don't know why my nose is itching. Like I fucking feel like I do COVID, some shit. But yeah, I want to bring you guys a uh, little discussion topic right now, talking about the meta and how it's ever so changing and making a side deck is going to be really hard for Nationals. Um. So yeah, without further ado, like I always say, let's begin. This meta is fucking weird. Um, apparently Shadows is bad, which went on un, un, as unexpected. I guess the, the it's like it's crazy because Shadows was a good deck up until the release of the Water Guy, and the deck just went downhill. I'm not seeing it at locals no more. I'm not seeing it at regional. Well, I've seen it at a few regionals, but the 150 it was like nowhere. And then it's like. Now, Necroz apparently is side decking three word decree. Main decking Dinko. Some people don't main deck Dinko, depending on who you're playing against. And it's just like, wow, I don't have to worry about Dinko, which is good, but at the same time, the decree can kind of screw people over. So if you're thinking about side and trapping against Necroz, you can't do it no more. So it's really kind of crazy because like, they have the option of Dinko and decree. So Necroz, and the instance, like, they're playing Bull Blader too, which is really annoying card. And then apparently Inferno is added to the meta now as a tier 1.5 to tier 2 deck. And that deck is really annoying. They have a guy that can special summon out of the... I don't even know his name. It's some fucking stupid name. He can special summon himself out of the graveyard, blow up all of the opponent's back row, allowing you... If you if, if you get all that effect out, they're more, more than likely going to beat you. And then he just pokes. Pokes. Like, I literally... I lost Inferno with today at Locals because the guy at Game 3 I called Level 3. He milled off the Peril. He hit the Level 3. It was a Peril Peril. Then he just brought that guy and just pokes for damage. I got rid of the guy. He brought the other guy that I can attack twice. Ran over my dark line attack ram. I'm like, that was the deadest fucking loss ever. So yeah, Inferno is on your my hit list right now. Luckily I slide that three black horn heavens, didn't see not one of them. Then your Senjus are good. And it's like Cleef I got loose turn. Like this home format is like so hard to side deck for now. It's really ridiculous. Um best advice I can give you guys going into um, Nationals and this is something I want to type on myself looking for more side deck cards that can go for a variety of matchups like I said once again Black Horn of Heaven should be in people's side decks like that card is so good you're hitting your Burning Abyss which is a relevant deck again you're hitting your Satella Knights which is semi-relevant I'm not seeing a lot of people using not, not at locals and I think I don't I don't think any deals Satella Knights deals top 150 of correct me if I'm wrong and then Oh yeah, so yeah, it hits Klee, Burning Abyss, Tunnel Knights. Pretty much majority of the meta except Necros. And um yeah, and craziest thing about it, the meta, the hero builds that are doing good are the Wombo Combo Fuck the World Ultra Care Bus build. And I personally just got done testing a Ultra Care Bus build and I did make a few players, but it was just my hand I had hands of form change. Polly and Miracle, like I predicted, with a Goblin Bird, and I'm just like, I can't win with this hand. I'll go Goblin Bird, try to summon Shadow Mist, Phoenix Chain. Well, I guess I'll just stop. My following turn, I go E Call into Blaze Man. Um, Blaze Man and Polly. I can, or I can dump with Blaze Man. It's just, honestly, I don't see how the hell people are topping with the build. It must be a combination of luck, fucking randomness, because randomness shit does happen, and just, I don't know, they played Necroz all day or some shit. I really don't get it. I tried it. Didn't work for me. No hate, though. Shout out to Air Auto Hero players that are doing good. But yeah, I guess to wrap this little short video up, this format is weird. Um, everything is going backwards. The Star Surrells were a bust. Everyone is expecting those, those cards to be good. And Nationals is gonna be really crazy. I can just honestly see a plethora of Rogue just wrecking the first four rounds. And then, of course, Necros and your BA and your Satellas and your Burning Abyss are gonna weed out all the Rogue decks. 
and your one or two hero OT hero bus builds are gonna make it. But what I'm personally gonna do is rebuild my hero deck, revamp it. My biggest issue with it was shut out dragon. Cause I don't like I'm just dead drawing come down and I feel like honestly at this point, I don't want to fucking run the car. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of looking at him for me opening up the dragon. It's like, ugh, I hate it. But yeah, that's what this video boils down to. Is honestly, um, when I'm coming out and building a side deck this format, focus on cars that can go for multiple, multiple matches. Because Nationals is going to have, at least off the top of my head right now, Burning Abyss, Latella, Shadows. People are still going to try to revive the deck. BA, Cleefort, it'll send you. Infernoids, you're gonna still have your hero players, random X Rogue. I'm playing against a chain burner at locals today, even though I destroyed them because the Dark Claw kind of hurts Chainborn. And that's 10 decks right there, or nine, I don't know, I can't, I'm terrible math. That you guys have to worry about and having those decks are all at least tier two or one. So, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did get a big thumbs up to support. As always, comment down in the comment section below what you guys thought about this little meta discussion topic at hand. Of course, I do these videos. I truly believe we help you guys become better players. I also do this video. I truly believe you guys help me become a better player. This is Chris from Team Innovation signing out. Peace.